Hey out there and welcome. I'm Kate and I am glad you're here. This is a practice for those days when you're feeling like you have low energy. We're gonna start on the floor and work our way up and hopefully get you to dial that energy level up just a little bit. So grab a couple of blocks, a blanket if you want it, find a quiet spot, roll out your mat, and let's dial it up. All right, so we're gonna start out on our back. So go ahead if you have that blanket and you want to place it underneath your head, I mean, why not? Go ahead and lay down feet flat on the mat if you're feeling tight and tense in your low back. Let your arms rest out by your sides. Feel your eyes close and breathe here. Just feel the floor underneath you. If after a couple of breaths you can stretch your legs out, you can go for that. If you want a soup to Baddha Konasana, you can go for that too. Make yourself comfortable for a few more breaths. And see if you can allow your breath to deepen ever so slightly. So you have a fuller inhale and a longer exhale. And as you do this, you can just do a quick scan of your body. Notice if you're still holding tension in your jaw, your cheeks, your shoulders, or your stomach. Send your breath to those places that still feel Ugh. and maybe you can encourage them to feel a little bit more. <sighs> Take another breath in and when you exhale, you're going to draw both knees in and rock a little bit side to side. Start to churn it up a little bit. Not too much, but just a bit. <laughs> That's it. And then you're going to take your feet, place them on the mat. If you've got a blanket underneath your head, I'm going to have you take it out now. All right. And we're just going to do cat and cow while we're here, right? So when you inhale, you want to feel your low back lift up off the floor and your tailbone, your sitting bones are going to root down. When you exhale, draw your belly button back toward your spine. You're going to feel that low back now press into the floor. And keep moving with your breath. Inhale, nice lift through your low back. And exhale and curl it in. One more of those. Inhale. And exhale. All right, and then come back to neutral. Bring your arms alongside your body. Feet about hips distance apart. If it feels more natural to go wider, then, then do that. We're gonna go for some moving bridges, right? So when you inhale, push into your feet, lift your hips, take your arms up and stretch them back. And when you exhale, we're gonna set it back down. And again, inhale, lift and reach. And exhale, come on back down. Two more, inhale. And exhale. The last one, inhale. When you get to the top, we're gonna hold it here for a breath, maybe two. You can let your hands rest on the floor, palms facing up or palms facing each other. Root into your feet. See if you can lift your hips a little bit higher when you inhale. And on your next exhale, everything's gonna come all the way back down to the floor and you're gonna draw your knees into your chest and take them wide and rock a little bit side to side here. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna roll to one side and come on up and find your table. And once you hit table with those wrists underneath your shoulders, right knees underneath your hips, let your hips go a little bit side to side. And then start to roll into circles. It doesn't matter which direction you go with first. And when you come around to front, inhale. And when you roll around to the back toward your heels, exhale. One more in this direction. 
And when you get yourself back toward your heels, you're just gonna switch to the other direction. Just getting that energy flowing one more circle. And when you exhale, you're gonna let your hips move back toward your heels. Find child's pose, let your elbows drop, let the weight of your head drop down. And breathe here. Okay, you're gonna stay in child's pose, but sweep your arms alongside your legs so your palms face up. And you can get a second here to let the tops of your shoulders kind of round down so your upper back is doming up a bit. And settle there. It's not very often that we kind of slouch in a pose. So enjoy this, the weight of your arm bones dropping down toward the mat and all that good stuff. And we're gonna do some more movement here. So when you inhale, you're gonna press into your shins and sit all the way up on your knees. Take your arms, sweep them forward and up. And when you exhale, we're gonna come all the way back down, hips to your heels, arms right alongside. <sighs> inhale, come on up, same thing. Lift it up and exhale, come on back down. <sighs> Let's do another one of those. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, come on back down. Find your child's pose. I'm gonna inhale, come up onto your knees, sweep your arms up. I'm gonna tuck your toes under here. Take your hands to your hips. Roll your shoulders back, hug your elbows in like you had an accordion back there or something and you were trying to play it, I don't know. Roll those shoulders back and let your hips press gently forward as you lift up. Oh, inhale, keeping your toes tucked. You're gonna exhale, switch your hips back onto your heels. <sighs> Inhale, reach those arms all the way up again. When you exhale, take your right hand down to the floor. We're gonna lean over to the side. If you need to come off your toes because they're dying here, come on off your toes. <laughs> Inhale up through the middle. Exhale, take your left hand down, right hand up and over. <sighs> yes. Inhale, come on back up. Keep those toes tucked if you can. You're gonna walk your hands forward, coming into kind of like a half extended child's pose. Spread your fingers and start to palm the floor, right? Four corners of your palms reach down, fire up those upper arms. And then from here, we're gonna unfold your legs. Oh, and a downward facing dog. And pedal out your feet. Oh. Yes. So I know you may be feeling like you're lagging a little bit today. <laughs> it's all good. We're not gonna move too hard. We're not gonna move too quickly. Just wanna get that kind of motion stirred up. Maybe get your energy level to come up a few notches. That's all, right? So you're gonna gaze forward and just start to tiptoe your feet to the top of the mat. <sighs> And find a new tanasana, straight legs, bent knees, whatever work for you in your hamstrings today, let your head go. And we're gonna sway a little bit side to side here. <sighs> yes, and then come back through the middle, sweep your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, and let your knuckles drag back, maybe up toward the sky. <sighs> Press into your feet, inhale, Gonna come all the way up, bend your knees as you go, like you're coming through chair. Press through the feet, lift into your chest, let your knuckles drag down. Drop your chin to your chest for a moment here. As you lift your head, you're gonna swing your fists around to your outer right hip. Hug both elbows in and breathe. Drop your right ear over your right shoulder, shake it out. Inhale, come back through the middle with your head, stretch your knuckles back. When you exhale, you're gonna take those fists and wrap them toward that outer left hip. Squeeze it in, lengthen through your spine. And when you exhale next, you're gonna drop your right ear over your right shoulder. I'm sorry, your left ear over your left shoulder and shake it out there. Yes. And then lift your head, stretch your knuckles straight back behind you. Inhale. When you exhale, we're gonna dive forward just like this. Soften your knees if you need to, coming back to where we started in your Uttanasana. Release your hands, slide them to your shins. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale and fold. I'm gonna plant those hands and walk back. Downward facing dog. Take your time getting there. When you get there, spread your fingers. Press down through your fingernail pads, the four corners of your palms. And breathe here. That's it. When you inhale, you're gonna to start to roll yourself forward in the plank. When you exhale, pull back, downward facing dog. Almost like the waves in the ocean. Inhale, roll it forward, rounding your spine. Exhale, hips high, drag back. One more. Inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, pull back. Okay, gonna take your right foot, lift it up, stretch back behind you, inhale. When you exhale, you're gonna gaze forward, step that right foot up between your thumbs. If you need to help it along, do so. Drop your back knee. Oh, and then you're gonna take your right forearm under the top of your thigh, take your left forearm next to it. So we get to kind of relax into this for a moment. You wanna press your forearms into the top of your thigh, lift your low belly, even as you stretch your chest up and away from there, your knee there. Ah, yeah. Inhale here. When you exhale, bring your hands to the floor. I'm gonna tuck those back toes under and slide your hips back for like a slightly lazy Ardha Hanuman. You can take that left sitting bone all the way back to your left heel and hang here. Keep working that right foot. Inhale, we rock it forward. Lift your chest, sink your hips. Exhale, step it back through plank. <sighs> Inhale in your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Oh, take your left leg, lift it up, sweep it back. Doesn't have to come high off the ground. When you exhale, gaze forward, step that left foot up and drop your back knee. Here we go. Left forearm under the top of the thigh. Right forearm is gonna come too. So we kind of lean into your leg a little bit and then press into those forearms. Feel the front of your body extend. Maybe let your head go a little bit side to side. Inhale. When you exhale, fingertips down. We're gonna go all the way back to that right heel. You can drag your left leg back with you. That's it. Flex your left foot. And breathe. Waking up through the back of that left leg. <laughs> All right, inhale. You rock it forward. Sink down. Lift your chest. And as you exhale, you're going to step it back again into plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your knees. Inhale. Kind of arch your back. Take your gaze up. When you exhale, we're going to lower halfway down. Chest and chin come forward. Inhale, press it back up. Exhale, find child's pose and relax here. Elbows drop, shoulders soften. Let the weight of your head drop into the floor and breathe. <sighs> Nothing a little half chaturanga push up can't solve. <laughs> 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 All right, come on back up through table and downward facing dog. Take it back. Oh yeah. You're gonna gaze it forward. And I know we said it was low energy, but let's try, try some hopping, right? So you're just gonna walk your feet forward just a little bit. Come onto the balls of your feet and shift your weight forward toward your hands. We're just gonna do three little like um, donkey kicks, what my kids call them, right? So you're gonna lift up and just kick your feet. And you can land. Ready? Same thing again, lift up, kick your feet. <laughs> and land. One more. <laughs> Shift it forward. Here we go. And land. All right? And then tiptoe to the top of the mat. And fold. <sighs> and if you want to sway, you can sway. If you're like, hey, hold on a second. I didn't sign up for jumping. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> oh, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen out. You're here now, let's enjoy it. Exhale and fold. Press into the floor. Come all the way up again. Ordva Hastasana, inhale. When you exhale, take your hands behind your back again. Interlace those fingers, draw your knuckles down. Lift into your chest. Oh. 
Inhale, reach your arms up. You're gonna hook your thumbs. Spread your fingers wide, root into your feet, lengthen up into your fingertips, take a breath. Then you're gonna dive all the way forward, Uttanasana, swing your hands back, sweep your arms up, reach them toward the sky, palms face each other. <sighs> Inhale, come up into your Utkatasana chair pose, let your hips sink, your chest rise, full breath. And then exhale, Uttanasana. <sighs> Halfway lift, lengthen out. And walk it back again, downward facing dog. <sighs> yeah, okay. Inhale, take your right leg, lift it up, sweep it back behind you. You're gonna gaze forward and step it up. Here we go. Come high onto your fingertips, sink your hips. And now you're gonna take your right forearm onto the top of your thigh. Take your left forearm there too. Take a second here and you can hang right here if this feels good to you. If you wanna to start to walk your hands up your thigh and come up into a higher lunge, then you can work that too. Take your arms, reach them up. <sighs> Crescent lunge, inhale. When you exhale, we're gonna open. Find a warrior two. Nice strong legs. Feel where your low belly can lift in and up. Shoulder blades draw toward each other on your back. Take your gaze over your right hand. <sighs> That's it. Right forearm's gonna come down to the top of your right thigh. Sweep your left arm forward and up. Side angle pose. Keep your feet nice and strong. <sighs> Legs work and inhale. When you exhale, take your left hand down. Roll onto the ball of your back foot and sweep your right foot over to the side a bit. Bring your right hand to the inside of that leg. And now we're gonna lower that back knee. Find a lizard pose. Beautiful. Feel your shoulders soften. Okay, now tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, step back into plank. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Here we go. Take your left leg, lift it up, sweep it back. Deep breath in. And then gaze forward. Step it up. Okay, then come onto your fingertips, set your feet so you feel comfortable. Left forearm comes onto the top of the thigh, right forearm comes onto the top of the thigh, shoulders roll back, and we can hang right here. No big deal. If you wanna come up, you can press into that left hand, make your way up. Arms up, you can find your crescent lunge. Deep breath. Warrior two, open it up. Warrior two is a good place to kind of feel like you got some power, right? <laughs> some strength, some energy. <sighs> That's your energy stretch from fingertip to fingertip. Even as you kind of draw your arms in, you can take up a little bit more space. <sighs> we spend so much time making ourselves small, right? To fit into whatever it is we think we need to fit into, clothes or a certain role in our lives. So take a minute here and let yourself expand. Get a little bigger. Take up space. And you're gonna bring your left forearm down onto the top of the thigh, side angle, let that right arm sweep forward and up. Nice big arc. Deep breath, strong, powerful line of energy from the outer edge of your right foot to your right fingertips, inhale. When you exhale, right hand's gonna to come to the floor, right, pivot on the ball of your back foot, Scoot your left foot out to the side, bring your left hand inside that foot, and drop your back knee, find lizard here. You got this, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, you're gonna step back into plank. Inhale in your plank. When you exhale, lower your knees. Inhale, we give a little arch to your back, gaze forward. When you exhale, you're gonna take your chest forward, little half chaturanga push up. <sighs> Inhale, press it back up. Exhale, child's pose. Take a break. Again, you can relax through your shoulders. And breathe. Okay. 
<laughs> Downward facing dog. Come on up and back. Nice. <laughs> All right, you're gonna walk your feet in a little bit. You can bring them a little closer together if you want. We're gonna do our little kicks again, right? So bend your knees, come onto the balls of your feet. You can start to shift forward a little bit. If you wanna walk the feet a little bit closer, you can. You're gonna work on getting those hips over the shoulders and you can kick your heels to your butt. Ready? Here we go, kick it up. And land, take a beat. We don't have to go super power here. We're gonna do it again. See if you can find a little more air time. One more, here we go. Okay, once you land, walk your feet forward and fold. Tanasana. You can let it sway a little bit. All right, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale and fold. Press the floor away. Come on up, Urdhva Hastasana, deep breath. When you exhale, hands come behind your back one more time, interlace your fingers. Draw down through your knuckles, lift into your chest. Oh. Inhale, take your arms, reach them out and up. They're gonna hook your thumbs, maybe in the opposite direction, if you can remember what you did before. Bonus points if you do. Inhale, <laughs> exhale, and fold. You're gonna release all the way down, sweep your arms up, and back behind you, palms face each other, and then sweep it forward for Utkatasana, chair pose. Fingertips to reach forward as your chest lifts, drop your hips. Then you're gonna take your hips a little bit lower, and a little bit lower. And then from here, if you can, you're gonna see if you can come into a little toe balance here. That's a little tricky, so your fingertips can come to the floor. If you've got the blocks, use the blocks under your hands and lower it here. Right? And then we're gonna take a step back, or you can just lower your knees, but I'll go this way, step back, toes tucked, sit your weight back on your heels for a second here. All right, here we go. Inhale, come on up. We're gonna keep those toes tucked. You can grab your blocks if you want them. And bring them behind you here. The blocks are kind of a nice option, so we don't go too deep into this. Just a little wake up call, right? From here, you're gonna roll those shoulders back. <sighs> Feel your hips press forward. Tops of your thighs are gonna kind of anchor you back. So keep your thighs engaged a little bit here. I'm a giant fan of thumbs in the armpits. I know, but there's something about it that's really helpful for the next thing. So thumbs into your armpits, if you're open to it. You're gonna use that to kind of hitch yourself up and then roll back. <sighs> Belly strong, one hand can find the block. Other hand can find the block. We're gonna take a breath, maybe two here in this little Ustrasana, little camel pose, chin to your chest. You can take your gaze up or throw it back. Inhale. And when you exhale, gonna sit your hips all the way down. You can use the blocks, make some space, and then you're gonna roll back onto your toes. Maybe you can find balance here on your toes. Take your feet down to the floor. You're still with me, you're gonna tap your butt. <laughs> take your legs out in front and we're gonna take them wide. Okay, if you wanna sit up on a blanket, you can take a blanket and kind of hitch it underneath your sitting bones. Sometimes it helps to get your hips a little bit higher. It allows your spine to lengthen with a little more ease. It's up to you, okay? You're gonna bend your, bend. What? You're gonna flex your feet. <laughs> you're gonna bend your ankles. <laughs> and push some energy through the soles of your feet. All right, you're gonna sit nice and tall. Here we go, you're gonna take your right arm, forearm to the top of your thigh, maybe to your shin here. You're just gonna let your head rest on your hand, right? This is the low energy you were looking for, huh? <laughs> you wanna root down through your left, top of your left thigh, through the left side sitting bone, and then take your left arm, reach it up, oh, and stretch it over. It's a beautiful thing. <sighs> yeah. And keep rooting through that left side, even as you reach into your fingertips. And sometimes this takes a couple of breaths. And that's why we're supporting your head, right? So it makes it a little easier to hang here. Yeah. Take a breath here. And then you're gonna slowly release your left hand to the floor and just kind of walk yourself through the middle. Stay rooted through this right side, and then you're gonna take your 
left hand, oh, tighter on this side. You can set your head on your hands here. Feel this right side sit down. Ooh. And then take your right arm up and reach it over. And breathe. Even if it feels like it's the hardest thing to do. <laughs> Soften any tension that may have gathered through your forehead or your jaw or your neck. Maybe you can wiggle your toes so your feet aren't taking this thing too seriously. They might be. Take another breath or two here. Yeah, and then you're gonna let your right hand come down to the floor and just kind of walk yourself through the middle. And if you've got your blocks, you're just gonna grab your blocks for a second and bring them in front and you can stack them. We're gonna lengthen up and just fold forward. And maybe your forehead can come down ooh, to your blocks. Meanwhile, you want to keep the legs active, right? So you don't want to kind of blop the legs. I guess you could. Take a second to let your legs just kind of bleh. That feels kind of nice. And then after you've done that for a couple of breaths, flex your feet. And just see how that changes it. Okay, slide your hands underneath you. Come on up. You're gonna grab the backs of your knees, fold your feet in for a little Baddha Konasana. You can keep the soles of your feet rooted. If you wanna grab your blocks and bring them to your feet, you can do that, right? We're gonna sit tall again and come out and over. You can situate the blocks however you want. If you can fold and just rest without the blocks, then more power to you. Let your eyes close. And breathe here. Okay, slide your hands underneath you. Once again, you're gonna roll yourself up. And if you want to take a Shavasana, you can absolutely go ahead and lay down, you can pause the video here or just stop it here, that works too. And go ahead and rest. Since we're kind of working on keeping the energy flow going in this direction, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish class with a comfortable seat. So you can do that too. If you feel once you get up here that you need a little bit of movement, go ahead and do that. If you're on the floor and you need something else, do that too. Just gonna close your eyes for a couple of moments to breathe. I'm not saying that Shavasana is not an important part of your practice because I believe that it absolutely is, but sometimes it just doesn't fit. I don't know. <laughs> so you get to choose how you end your practice. Close your eyes and settle into your breath. And if you're seated here, try to relax as much as you can along the length and lift of your spine. And stay with your breath here. And you can stay here as long as you'd like. I'm going to say goodbye. Bring your palms together in Anjali Mudra.
bow your head and honor this time on your mat and hopefully we have kind of moved that needle that energy needle to a little bit more i hope fingers crossed <laughs> drop a comment below let me know if this helped a little bit um as always like and share and subscribe it's the best thing that you can do and check out some of my other videos thanks so much i look forward to practicing with you again let me know if there's anything you need have a great day.